everyone. Welcome to the first collaboration of Nerd Sanctum and Fact Extract. Today we want to talk to you about five myths in the tech world that although they are false, they've been told so many times that many accept them to be proven facts. Number one, common household magnets can ruin data stored on solid state and hard disk drives. We've been told many times that we shouldn't place a magnet near our hard drive or we will lose all of our data. Such fear might have been valid a couple of decades ago during the good old days of floppy disks, but it's not really a concern anymore. First of all, there's nothing magnetic in solid state or flash drives, so they are immune to magnetic fields. But data on hard disk drives is still stored magnetically. However, to affect the data on a hard disk drive, you need a very strong magnetic field. Perhaps equivalent to that created by an MRI machine, which obviously isn't found in your average household. Speaking of wiping data, that brings us to our second myth. Number two, emptying your computer's trash bin permanently deletes your data. This has probably happened to all of us once or twice. You delete an important file and then mistakenly empty your trash bin and there goes your precious document and you can never get it back. Well, that is not quite right. When your operating system deletes data, it doesn't alter the information stored on your hard drive, but marks its space on your hard drive as free space instead. The file is therefore not completely gone. However, there's a good chance that your computer might have started writing new information to where that old file used to be stored. At this point, what you need to do is not do that much on your computer and instead run a file recovery program. There are many of them out there and there's a good chance that they can find your file. We've provided some links in the description of this video. Number three, Macs are safe from viruses. There were times that Apple bragged that its computers were virus free. That perception has changed recently and now it is well documented that Apple's Macs can also be infected with viruses, trojans, and other malware. Macs are more secure than Windows for two main reasons. One is that 91% of all computer-based systems run some form of Windows OS. And hackers write programs to specifically attack Windows-based systems in order to affect as many people as possible. The second is that Macs are Unix-based, which is indeed much more secure than Windows, but they are still susceptible to malicious software attacks. Number four, more cell phone bars means higher quality phone calls. Many believe that more cell phone bars means that we will definitely get a higher quality phone call. But is that really true? There are several reasons that this is indeed a myth. One simple explanation is that the strength of the signal your phone receives depends on its power, which is measured in reference to milliwatts and its unit is dBm. The dBm's higher than negative 65 generally mean that you have a very good signal and the dBm's lower than negative 105 generally mean that you have a very weak signal. However, there is no industry standard for how many dBm's a bar is, so two bars bars on one network might mean five on another. So the number of bars you have might not be a good metric to use and brag about the quality of your service to your friends. Number five, password protected Wi-Fi's are safe. It has happened to almost all of us. We're outside our home, office, or school and desperately need a connection to the internet without having a data plan. We finally find a password protected Wi-Fi connection and happily connect to it. We're definitely safe, right? Wrong. It is known that hackers launch phony secure hotspots to steal information. For example, a hacker can go to an airport and launch a hotspot called Airport Wi-Fi and have access to all the data that connected users transmit over their phony hotspot. The best way to ensure your security is ask an employee of whoever is offering this Wi-Fi to confirm the hotspot's name and its legitimacy. After all, it is better to be safe rather than lose your sensitive information. So those are our five tech myths. If you like them, please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to us for our future videos. And as always, thanks for watching, and until next time, have a good day.